Aries, this is a peek at your partner for the week of March the 19th through March the 25th, 2023. Universal energies, show me what I need to see for the partner of the star sign of Aries for March the 19th through March the 25th, 2023. Universal energies, show me what I need to see. For the partner of the star sign of Aries for March the 19th through March the 25th, 2023. Universal energies, show me what I need to see. For the partner of the star sign of Aries for March the 19th through March the 25th, 2023. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals, sir. Aries. Aries, this is a peek at your partner. So, Aries, your partner has the two of pentacles. Your partner has the four of cups. Your partner has the ace of wands. Your partner has the ace of cups. And your partner has the empress. So, Aries, your partner has the two of pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is juggling. Now, this could be juggling two ideas. Should I, shouldn't I? Will I, won't I? This could be your partner managing many things at once, weighing up the pros and the cons, or juggling two relationships. So, Aries, listen, your partner could tell me that they're weighing things up, trying to decide should they, shouldn't they? Or juggling was taking place here. Clarify the two of pentacles. But Aries, partner, clarify the two of pentacles. For Aries, partner, clarify the two of pentacles. For Aries, partner, it is clarified with the queen of swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This queen is a no-nonsense type of queen. She already knows the truth. She'll let you speak your truth to bring more clarity, but she has no problems with cutting people, places, and things out of her life that no longer serve her. So Aries could be dealing with Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or someone with air prominent in their charts. However, your partner could be taking on the energy of this Queen of Swords and cutting something out. Also with the Queen of Swords, this can be legal documentation or paperwork. Clarify the Queen of Swords for Aries, partner. Clarify the Queen of Swords for Aries, partner. Clarify the Queen of Swords for Aries, partner. It is clarified with the hermit. Could be dealing with a Virgo. But right now, your partner's taking some time out to be alone, to do some soul searching, introspection, searching their inner man for wisdom and guidance, going within, looking for answers. So Aries could be dealing with a Virgo, but your partner could tell me that they need to do some heavy duty soul searching. Your partner could tell me that they just need some me time or, you know, they're just using their intuition concerning something. Clarify the hermit for Aries, partner. Clarify the hermit for Aries, partner. Clarify the hermit for Aries, partner. It is clarified with judgment. Now, judgment could be your partner passing their own final verdict and judgment over you guys' relationship. Judgment could be the final verdict and judgment in a legal court case. But judgment is forgiveness and resurrection of the relationship. Second chances. So Aries, listen, your partner could be passing their own final verdict and judgment here. Someone could be asking for forgiveness in a second chance. Or we're dealing with something illegal. Clarify judgment for Aries, partner. Clarify judgment for Aries, partner. Clarify judgment for Aries, partner. 
It is clarified with the King of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This king is a very loving, kind, compassionate king. He's fair and balanced in his emotions, but he does not wear his emotions on his sleeve. He's in complete control of his emotions. Could be dealing with Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces, or someone with water prominent in their charts. However, your partner could be taking on the energy of this King of Cups. <clears throat> The King of Cups is someone with a great deal of emotions within them, but they're not outwardly expressing their emotions. They're masking their emotions or wearing a mask. Also with the King of Cups, this is a nurturing father figure, so you could be dealing with the parent of your child here. Clarify the King of Cups for Aries, partner. Clarify the King of Cups for Aries, partner. Clarify the King of Cups for Aries, partner. It is clarified with the Eight of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is your partner feeling stuck. Like they're in a self-imposed prison of their thoughts. This is your partner feeling like they can't move, but they can move because it's all mental. This is them refusing to see some things, refusing to acknowledge some things, a lack of information, block communication. This is your partner feeling stuck, trapped, and blocked. So Aries, listen, your partner could tell me that they're feeling stuck in a situation here or there's blocked communication. Now, your partner could tell me that they did some heavy duty soul searching and their judgment or decision is to cut things off because of juggling here and block communication. But Aries, your partner could tell me that, hey, you know, there was a cutting off here. But now they're thinking long and hard about it. Someone may want forgiveness and a second chance. And they may be debating this and just stuck on coming up with a decision here, Aries. Aries, your partner has the four cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. There's an offer on the table that your partner is not accepting or rejecting. They're contemplating this offer, but actually they're bored with the offer, thinking of missing the offer. But this is also a card of your partner contemplating sending an offer, but they fear that the offer will be rejected. So Aries, listen, your partner could tell me that there's an offer coming into them that they're thinking about missing. However, they could be contemplating sending a offer. They just have this fear it won't be accepted. Clarify the Four of Cups for Aries, partner. Clarify the Four of Cups for Aries, partner. Clarify the Four of Cups for Aries, partner. It is clarified with the Knight of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is someone coming into your partner or your partner coming in to apologize, to offer their cup of love and make the romantic gesture. So someone is saying, I'm sorry. Someone is trying to heal things, mend things, work things out. May even be coming in with a romantic gesture here. Clarify the Knight of Cups for Aries, partner. Clarify the Knight of Cups for Aries, partner. Clarify the Knight of Cups. For Aries, partner. It is clarified with the sun. Could be dealing with a Leo, but the sun symbolizes exuberance, illumination, happiness, joy, peace, love, abundance, growth and development and freedom. Could be dealing with a Leo, but your partner could tell me that I'm happy, I want to be happy, I'm over the moon, or something was illuminated, something came to light. Clarify the sun for Aries, partner. Clarify the sun for Aries, partner. Clarify the sun for Aries, partner. It is clarified with strength. Could be dealing with a Leo, but the universe is calling for your partner to have strength, courage, determination, motivation to keep moving forward and to do the right thing. But this is also a card of your partner trying to tame their lusts, tame their passions, trying to restrain themselves, restrict themselves, and hold themselves back from something. So Aries, listen, could be dealing with a Leo, but your partner could tell me that they're feeling extremely weak here. Your partner could tell me that they're restraining themselves, restricting themselves, and holding themselves back, or trying to muster the strength and courage to do something here. Clarify strength for Aries, partner. Clarify strength for Aries, partner. Clarify strength for Aries, partner. It is clarified with the Seven of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is your partner waiting. And in this wait, they're pausing to reflect on you guys' relationship. 
They're looking at the seeds that were planted, looking at what has taken root, what has grown, and what it has produced thus far, trying to figure out whether or not they want to continue to invest, whether they want to reinvest. They're taking stock of you guys' relationship, assessing you guys' relationship. But this is also a card of your partner looking at their coins, their harvest, their bank account, looking at how much they have and how much they have to invest. Could be waiting on money. So Aries, listen, your partner could tell me that they're waiting on money, looking at their coins, looking at their bank account. Your partner could tell me that they're waiting. Your partner could tell me that they're waiting, contemplating and debating on whether or not they care to continue to invest or reinvest in this relationship. Now, Aries, listen, I do feel like your partner is asking themselves, do they care to continue to invest? But I also feel like there's a waiting going on here. Now, it very well could be that this offer is coming in from you, some type of romantic offer or apology here. You know, your partner saying, you know what? Maybe something is illuminated here. I'm kind of holding back. I'm waiting. I'm just restraining myself, debating and stuck on this decision, okay? However, Aries, your partner could tell me that, hey, I want to be happy, okay? I want to come in with this offer. I just have this fear it won't be accepted. I want to come in and apologize or come with this romantic offer. I'm just waiting till I must up the strength and courage to do so because I have this fear it won't be accepted. Aries, your partner has the Ace of Wands. Aries, Leora Sag. This is a brand new, passionate, creative endeavor. Now, this can be the spark of a new idea. This can be some type of exciting, passionate communication, exciting, passionate action. But this one is symbolic of the male phallic and using the male phallic to be intimate. So brand new, passionate beginnings. So Aries, listen, your partner could tell me that they have the spark of a new idea, could be initiating something here. This can be passionate communication, romantic passion, or a heated discussion or argument, or starting a passionate new beginning. Clarify the Ace of Wands for Aries, partner. Clarify the Ace of Wands for Aries, partner. Clarify the Ace of Wands for Aries, partner. It is clarified with the Tower. The Tower is Aries and Scorpio's energy. This is something that your partner doesn't see coming. Something that catches them completely off guard. Something that just rocks the foundation of you guys' relationship. This is a shock in our moment, a moment of revelation. Now, this can be a shocking shakeup or a breakup. So, Aries, listen, it could be a shocking surprise, shocking revelation, something being revealed, or a breakup. Clarify the tower for Aries, partner. Clarify the tower for Aries, partner. Clarify the tower for Aries, partner. It is clarified with you, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, the Queen of Wands. This queen is a very fiery, feisty, bold, and confident energy. Someone who handles their business with a lot of passion, effort, and energy. So, Aries, this is you. Clarify the Queen of Wands for Aries, partner. Clarify the Queen of Wands for Aries, partner. What does Aries' partner think of Aries? What does Aries' partner think of Aries? Clarify the Queen of Wands for Aries' partner. It is clarified with the Five of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is you feeling remorse and regret, hurt, crying on the inside over all the time that has spilled out, all the effort and energy that has spilled out, all the love that has spilled out. This is you mourning the loss of this relationship, disappointed on how things pan out in the relationship. So Aries, listen, I ask, what does your partner think of you? Your partner may think that you're hurt, you're mourning, you're disappointed. Or you're feeling remorse and regret for the part that you played. However, when it comes to you, they may be hurt, mourning, and disappointed. Or feeling remorse and regret for the part that they played. Now, you guys could have had some type of heated discussion or argument. And it caused some type of shakeup here. Or someone started a passionate new beginning somewhere else juggling here. Okay? And this caused a shakeup between you guys. Now, your partner could tell me that they're hurt by the situation because you did it. Or they could be feeling remorse and regret because they did it and they want to come in to apologize here. Aries, your partner has the Ace of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is a brand new beginning in love. A brand new beginning in a deep emotional connection. This is love overflowing. A brand new blessing. A brand new beginning in love. So Aries, new love, new start to love, or a blessing here. 
clarify the Ace of Cups for Aries, partner. Clarify the Ace of Cups for Aries, partner. Clarify the Ace of Cups for Aries, partner. Ace of Cups at the bottom of the deck. It is clarified with the Ten of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is emotional fulfillment. This is the apex card. This is the happy family, happy life, happy wife, happy, stable, committed relationship, and happy home. This is what we're all striving for. So we're speaking of marriage, commitment, home, family, emotional fulfillment. So Aries, listen, you know, someone very well may have commitment on the brain here. However, in tarot, tens are ending, so it could be an ending to you guys as commitment, marriage, living together situation, or family dynamics. So Aries, listen, someone very well could be coming in with a proposal here with this cup, wanting commitment. And I hope someone is not let down here, either you or them. However, Aries, your partner could tell me that things are ending and you guys has already established commitment because someone had new love and was juggling here. Aries, your partner has the Empress. Could be dealing with a Libra or a Taurus. But the Empress signifies beauty, fertility, creativity, nurturing energy, love, abundance, growth, and development. This is a pregnant woman. She is symbolic of the Mother Earth. She takes the seed of something and nurtures it so that it grows abundantly. So Aries could be dealing with a Libra or a Taurus. Could be dealing with a spouse because the Empress is a married, stable, committed person. Could be dealing with the parent of your child or someone who's expecting. Now, this can be about your partner's abundance, but it could also be about nurturing the relationship. Clarify the Empress for Aries, partner. Clarify the Empress for Aries, partner. Clarify the Empress for Aries, partner. It is clarified with the devil. Could be dealing with a Capricorn, but this devil energy can speak of a toxic energy that is looming over you guys as a relationship. And what makes it toxic is this restrictive and binding. Someone may be obsessive, possessive, controlling, abusive. Someone may have an addiction to sex, drugs, drinking, smoking, working too much, money, attention, gambling, sports, video games, eating too much, anything that a person does too much of. Or someone here is in a full-blown relationship somewhere else causing this toxic energy to loom over you guys' relationship. So Aries could be dealing with a Capricorn. But when we're dealing with this devil energy, this can speak of something being toxic, restrictive, and binding. This can speak of a legal binding contract, but also temptation. Clarify the devil for Aries, partner. Clarify the devil for Aries, partner. Clarify the devil for Aries, partner. It is clarified with the two of swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is your partner needing to make a decision, but they're in the dark about some things. Some things they just refuse to see, refuse to acknowledge, a lack of information, block communication. So it's hard for them to make an informed decision in this position. But this is also a card of your partner being closed off, blocked off, not wanting to see, wanting to ignore, wanting to turn a blind eye. So Aries, listen, either your partner is indecisive or they're blocking. Now, Aries, your partner could tell me that, hey, you know, this is a toxic situation here and they're blocking communication. That's their judgment. They're going to master their emotions and block, com block communication. They're hurt by you. However, Aries, your partner could tell me that I'm right where I started from. Your partner is needing to make a decision or a judgment call here, and they're indecisive or stuck here, okay? And it very well could be because something is toxic, and they don't know whether or not they want to nurture the relationship further, or this is about a legal binding contract. Someone very well may have commitment on the brain here coming in with a proposal, and your partner is saying, I'm just indecisive and maybe stuck on this decision here to maybe file some type of legal documentation or paperwork. Should I, shouldn't I? Should I, shouldn't I? Aries, this is a peek at your partner for the week of March the 19th through March the 25th, 2023. You guys, give me feedback. Subscribe, like, comment, and share. And follow me on Twitter at Her Immortal Maj, M-A-J. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.